Good morning. As you can see, we are midway through my morning routine. So first up, whenever I come downstairs, regardless of what day it is, regardless of what I'm doing, I make a coffee. And I thought I get a lot of questions about um, how I make my coffees. So I thought we'll do a little tutorial to start off the video. So I'm going to show you how to make my iced coffee that has vanilla cold foam and it's just unreal it's basically like a caramel macchiato like you get from starbucks but i add cold foam because it looks unreal so let's do it okay so here's what i don't know why this dressing gown just messes up my these pajamas it looks so weird underneath anyway this is what you're gonna need a cute cup this one is from amazon and it comes with like glass straws and they're stunning i'll leave a link if any of you guys want to get it some ice, some means of making coffee. You can use pods um, or I have a lot of questions about it all the time about whether or not you can use instant coffee and you can, you just have to make it like more strong. So you're not gonna do like a full cup. You're just gonna do like a little amount of water and make it quite strong. Then optional, I use caramel drizzle and vanilla syrup. So all we're gonna do is a frother. Again, you can use like a hand, a hand frother thing. I have the Nespresso one that does both hot and cold milk. So all we need milk. So fill up. This is for the cold foam. And then all you do is put the lid on it and hold that until it goes light blue. So I shall show you. of ice and then what we're gonna do is pour a little bit of vanilla just a little bit I don't like it too sweet but I just like the kind of like vanilla flavoring I think it's stunning and then you are gonna pour the milk that's been frothed in yum then we're gonna add the espresso on top. Give it a minute for the milk to kind of settle down. How stunning does that look? I can't even deal with it. Yeah, there we go. And then all we're gonna do is add caramel drizzle to the top. And that is it. Absolutely beautiful. And I post these like every single day because I swear it just looks so good. And then all you do is straw in, give it a mix about. Absolutely divine. Why would you pay five pounds for a Starbucks when you can literally make it at home? You need to get on it. Once I have all of my stuff sorted, kind of coffee, immediate work, stuff like that, um, I like to do a little spruce up. So typically during semesters, I actually do it at night. Um, I tend to call it like my five minute tidy and I just clean my space kind of before I go to bed. And then it means that when I wake up in the morning, I'm like fresh, fresh environment, fresh everything. And I'm raring to go. But obviously in the summer, I'm not like out of bed, gym at six o'clock, like start studying at nine o'clock because it's just like a bit more chill than that. So I tend to leave it to the morning and I can just tidy up during the day because I kind of like tidying.
skincare time. So I'm gonna show you guys my skincare kind of cupboard situation. So I use a lot of Drunk Elephant products because I really like them. Um, my SPF, and this is kind of like face masks and then cleansers and scrubs. So, oh, I just came up the I have typically very reactive skin, so when I find products I like, I kind of roll with them and just kind of like stick to those kinds of products because they just work the best for me. So yeah, I kind of keep it pretty, pretty basic. So, and my skin has been kind of like, I don't know if you can see like under here in my forehead and like at the side of my nose, like I've just been getting a lot of breakouts and I don't really know why. So I'm gonna keep on it with the, the skincare, just like keeping it pretty basic. But I think it's because I'm trying to train my hair to not have to wash it like three times a week. So I'm trying to train it, but obviously that means that when I'm in the shower, I don't know if it's like if I'm cleaning my face as thoroughly as I would do when I'm washing my hair. So I'm just gonna keep on that and like in the morning before I kind of go about my day. I just wanna make sure that I keep um, my face nice and clean. So I'm gonna wash it to start with. And I have a new cleanser from Drunk Elephant, but I don't wanna use it yet until I finish this one from La Roche Posse because this one is really good. And I'm pretty sure this is what um, dermatologists prescribe to people who have um, like pretty bad acne. So I think it's supposed to be really good for sensitive skin. So that is what it looks like if you guys have kind of reactive skin. I really like it. So, and it's not that expensive either. It's less than, I think it's less than 20 pounds from memory. And it's really, really good. So yeah, just giving my face a thorough wash. This is the hardest thing I think when I'm washing my face is my ponytail going in the way. Like, if anybody has come up with a way to do this without like having to put your hair in a whole bun, then I would really appreciate it. Because I just feel like I'm going up here, like, trying to pull the water. Otherwise, my all my ponytail gets wet. Oh, and my wrists. It's got all over my wrists. Okay. Wash done, and then I am going to use this. So it's the vitamin C fresh day serum. So I just do like two squirts of that, and then I squirt that into the uh, Pro Tinny Polypeptide Cream. So that's just like the moisturizer. So I just put that into that. Mix it together and then put it all over my face. Oh, I can feel it literally nipping down here. My face was sore. And then actually what I found is a really good spot treatment if you guys need it is the TLC uh, Glycolic Night Serum. So I wear this at night and it's, I just pretty much use it and dab it on the spots. It says that on the back that it's apparently a really good, a really good spot treatment. So I've been trying that. I don't get that many spots, but it's just like irritating ones. And I'm like, I don't need this in my life. So yeah, that's literally all I'm gonna do. I actually want some, um, Where's my lip balm? I did recently reorganize this. And I don't remember where I put the lip balm station. Oh, I found her. So that is the skincare. Also, a huge focus of mine recently has been water intake. So before lunchtime, I try to get a liter of water in every single day. So before 12 o'clock, I get at least a liter because I try and drink minimum two liters a day. So, yeah, that is that is what I'm trying to do. So we need to finish this and get it down. We also need to pee as well because I've just fully drank that first bit. So yeah, let's go.
doing? No. no. I've got an email about. Um, Okay, so I am ready for the day. I just have this cute little cord on. It's actually knitted, but like, it's not that. I mean, it is warm, but it's also like windy and rainy. So after I get ready, the first thing I like to do, just kind of like once I'm ready to go for the day is do kind of like 90 minutes of work, whatever the work is. Um, so I like to, let's put in some perfume. Um, yeah, whatever it is, emails, whether I need to film like brand stuff or like post or whatever I need to do, I just kind of like to do that first thing. So today I actually have some listy orders that I need to post. So I'm gonna go and take them down to the post office now and then come back and then crack on with some work. So I'm actually gonna design my Amazon storefront today, which I'm really excited about. So I'm basically just gonna link loads of products that I really like and I just design my own little storefront situation. So I'm gonna do that today, but yeah, first things first, we need to go take that stuff to the post office. So we're gonna head there now. Parcels posted and I collected me and dad uh, some soup from the deli. So we've got some chicken soup and dad's got lentil and some rolls. So it is now two o'clock and I have finished all of my tasks, which is great. So yeah, that is my, that's my morning. I think um, it is Tuesday today, so I have yoga and a class at the gym in the evening. So that's why I didn't work out this morning. Otherwise, typically in the mornings, I do exercise in the morning, whether it's just a walk or whatever I do, whether I go to the gym, do weights, Pilates, yoga, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's typically what I do and it's a lot more chilled in the summer, but I like that. I think it gives me a couple of months where I can kind of just let my brain breathe. I wake up pretty much when I want to and I'm a little bit more lenient on myself, which I think I need because I'm a very structured person, but I think that everybody kind of needs that balance of between like the six months when I'm at uni where I'm very, very structured and then the kind of rest of the year where I can just take a little bit of a breather and give myself time to kind of unwind, which is really, really important as well, particularly when you do any kind of degree or any any kind of stressful life. I think it's really important to make sure that you implement that balance and just kind of have the time off that you need to have and to make sure that you're doing the things in the days to make yourself feel a little bit better, more relaxed and just kind of do those things for yourself. So yeah, that is something that is really important to me, but I hope you guys enjoyed my morning routine. I think I might try another one of those like CEO ones that I used to do because I really enjoyed doing them and I haven't done one of them in like a year. So I might do that soon, just as another little morning routine situation. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know in the comments. Let's do a little, hmm, strawberry emoji. So if you guys made it to the end of this video, then drop a strawberry in the comments. So I know you made it to the end because yeah, that's just how I know that you guys are the real ones. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I shall see you in my next video. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.